In the first episode, we talked about how Midair partnered with a third-party organization to use their, their platform, which harnesses blockchain technology, to support our health programming in Bekaa Valley, and this was to do a voucher for medication project. In this episode, we're going to talk about how Midair is using the same blockchain technology, but this time in a different application, as part of our multi-purpose cash assistance, uh, which is part of our Beirut Blast response. I think it's been an idea in the air that we could uh, do cash assistance via blockchain. Um, but uh, I'm quite a skeptical person in general. I like to really question why are we doing these things, you know. I don't want just to be ticking boxes. That's not the way I work. Uh, and I was always asking when people were telling about it, how oh, we could use blockchain for cash assistance. I'm like, okay, why? Why would we do it? Uh, what's the added value? And most people would, would not be really able to answer. And based on this, I would just discard this option. Like, if you don't know why you're doing it, we're not doing it. Uh, and this is what happens when, uh, when we were approached by Idonic to suddenly start to discover the whole system uh, because it's, it's, it's really covering the, the, the whole process of uh, raising the funds and then distributing the funds and how it's, it's, uh, it's useful and simple to use for, for the users. Then we thought, okay, maybe here we can really explore something that will have a positive impact but not to do it just uh, because it's a fancy term that we can put on our website. So why did we choose this particular application? Because as we're seeing DeFi or decentralized financing is becoming more and more widely used globally because of the benefits of blockchain technology. And we see this as a very natural fit for our cash programming, which also involves cash transactions. And anything that we can do to improve our own systems, their accountability, their traceability, especially in the context that we work, where there's often poor economies, infrastructure, governance, will ultimately benefit those that we serve. For me, it's more interesting to really look at the, at the beneficiaries. How can they really make use of this? Uh, how it is more accessible for them to, to just be in control of the cash that they are receiving through their smartphone? Uh, this is, for me, more, more of, uh, of use. Maybe it's not the case for anyone who would use this technology, but we are more focused on the beneficiary side. At Medair, our donors are extremely important to us. They're valuable because they help us reach people in need all around the world. In the end though, it's all about the people that we serve. And sometimes those donors might wonder, well, how much of my donation actually reaches the field? How much of it actually gets to the people in need? And that's a, that's a valid question. Um, with blockchain, we're able to make that entire process from beginning to end much more transparent. We're, we're able to show the exact time and location that the people received the aid that we had provided. And that's important because it helps to build trust. Trust not only because all the transactions are tra transparent, but also trust because the numbers that we show back to our donors are immutable, which means they can't be changed, they can't be manipulated. Blockchain has that built into it. And with all of that, we get better trust with our donors and that allows us to accept bigger donations and then obviously help more people in need around the world.